on Brennan for a little bit and kind of get his story and then coming back and everything. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've had a chance to uh, get around each other and start developing the relationships um, in the quarterback room. I think that's that's a key piece. Um, I was just talking in there about I think the important thing is for, for us to build those relationships. Uh, that's I think Coach Kelly hit on that um, as he was talking about uh, – it's so important to understand who you're coaching um, and for them to, to understand who I am so that we can develop a baseline of where they're at and what type of development we need to have moving forward. Um, and obviously, Miles has uh, you know, had, had uh, different things that, that have happened in the past. But right now, what, what I'm focused on is mine and, mine and Miles' relationship and then how I can help him grow and develop into being the absolute best quarterback that he can be. The quarterback position has always been the one that's most scrutinized, too much credit, too much blame, whatever they say about it. But uh, is it even harder now with social media and so much scrutiny to play the position? Well, I think I think you have to uh, you have to have a plan um, in anything that you do, and I think that especially goes to the quarterbacks individually. You got to have a plan, and we're going to set that plan and that vision uh, for what they need to do on a daily basis. And we got to focus on that. We can't allow uh, any kind of distractions or, or outside influence on on what we're going to think. Uh, we need to go back to that process, that process that Coach Kelly talks about, the process of getting better every single day, um, and the process that we know works, um, and then that will produce results. But that's what we're going to focus on. Yeah, Mike just talked about the things that he looks for in a quarterback. Obviously, our strength and ability to work the board, but he also added a bit of, a bit of run threat in there as well. Right. So, uh, you know, when you're working with position, how much of that has to be a factor in the game just to keep defenses honest? Well, I think it's definitely a, definitely a piece of college football today, just with um, whether it be from you know, the backside of a run and being able to, to use your feet in a situation where, you know, the extra defender is taking away some things and be able to pull the football and, and go to the perimeter or in the passing game. You know, I mean, defenses are just so athletic uh, now and the different guys that, that are out there um, to be able to move your feet and, and ex whether it be extend a play, um, create a play, right, or keep a defense honest. And, and I think that definitely goes into it. And obviously, Coach Denbrock had a ton of success um, with being able to use his quarterback's feet uh, in the past. How was the process for you as you got that call to come to LSU? Kind of what was going through your mind? Well, uh, being uh, being in the state now for nine, this will be my tenth year. Um, I guess I've always known that LSU football was a special place. Always attributed to the top college football. Um, but I think when you're in the state um, and when you're around that, you understand uh, just how special a place it is uh, and the aura of what LSU football is. Uh, so obviously, just the opportunity one. Um, to work at LSU football and the opportunity to work with Coach Kelly and his success in the past, uh, it's a dream come true. Working for him, is, is it a steady day by day, not too emotional, too high, too low process for him? Kelly? And, I, and I would imagine this is continually going to be said. Um, he's an he's a unbelievable communicator. Uh, he sets a standard. He communicates to you what your job is um, in a very clear way. Uh, and then you're given the tools and access and, and the ability to go do, do that. Um, and the, that's the standard and that's the expectation. Um, so I would say, yes, it's a, it's a consistent work environment around a, a lot of guys who I think challenge you to be your best um, and bring out the best in each other. I think that's what's been really exciting about the offensive staff so far. Um, and, and Mike hit on that. Just the natural relationships that we had, um, the environment in the room, um, and, and it's, it's, a, it's a great place to come to work every single day. Um, and go attack that success that we talk about. Have you worked with any of the other guys before? I have never worked with any like of the guys. Brandon? Now I know, I, I you know I know uh, Cortez and I uh, go way back, and and obviously I've known known Frank, um, and then Br knew Brad a little bit. Um, there's a couple other guys around you know around the office that that I guess we had known each other, especially the different guys who had been in Louisiana, um, you know, or been around Louisiana for a while. It seems like a very deliberate pace uh, that Brian's got you all kind of working at, and nothing seems to be. Well, I think there's a, it's a great quote. If you don't have time to do it right, when are you going to have time to do it over? Um, and, and, and it's funny that Mike said that because I, I would 100% agree. And, that, and uh, that's actually something that I've talked to the quarterbacks about, about building their foundation um, and building their foundation on, on solid ground that then we can lean back on that. Um, and I think that's so important for us as a staff, uh, right? And that's, that's uh, uh, is Coach Kelly's plan and, and Coach Denbrock's plan for us to build that solid foundation that we're going to lean on in the future to produce the results. How 
how do you all want to gauge the race? You know, everyone's in the first, the rest, whatever it may be. How, you know, a lot of people like to do it on paper so that you can just show the kids. You know, like, have you thought that through yet? Or? Well, that'll be something that Coach Dimbrock, uh, Coach Kelly, and and, and uh, myself will sit down and um, and look to, and, and I'm excited about that in spring ball and just just watching the guys go to work um, and evaluate them on a daily basis and everything that they do, and and that's going on constantly. Um, but really excited to work with all of, all of them. Really excited to work with the staff, but ex- and and more importantly, the players, uh, and just and just what they what they bring to the table every single day. Yeah, so I uh, I have I have gotten to be around them. We have a we have a great room. A lot of a lot of uh, a lot of fun personalities in there. Um, a lot of guys who uh, uh, we'll, we'll make sure we ha- we can have a great time together, so that we enjoy coming to work and we enjoy enjoy that process, right? Because it's hard, all right? College football is hard. Being a quarterback is hard, and we have to. I think it's important to be able to enjoy that. Um, but also have the, the same aspect of understanding the, the goals and, and the daily process of what we need to do uh, to play to that standard. And, and we're going to be able to do both. You've got three guys at three different stages of their career, though. You know, oh, yeah. Career, like, yeah. Is, is that welcome for you because you get to coach them all at different paces? And how do you approach them? You know, I think that's, I, I think that's a really good question. And, and it's not just – it's probably not just that they're different ages. I would say for, for anybody, especially in the quarterback room, because you, you have less guys um, that you can focus on. I think everybody's at a different level. Everybody has different strengths and weaknesses. And the important thing is understanding what those are. Um, me as a coach, understanding what their strengths and weaknesses are, how best they learn, how best they are motivated, um, what are their strengths and weaknesses physically. Um, and and that's, that's what the ever process is right now, or the ongoing process right now, is, is to understand that and make sure that they understand that. And I think we got to develop that baseline with everybody and then make sure we can develop an individual plan on what's best to, to make sure that each quarterback can play at their absolute best and we can develop them into being their absolute best. Um, and I think that's the challenge That's the challenge right now. And, th- and that's the process that we're going through right now. And that's what I'm excited about th- for this spring. For better or worse, every quarterback that's ever played from here on out is awesome. compared to Joe Burrow. Uh, I mean, what, do, you, do, you, do you tell the guys, like, hey, don't, don't try to beat him. Just, just do, do what you do here? Well, I, I think there's such a great history here uh, and, and obviously recent history at the quarterback position. and. and Joe Burrow winning the Heisman, and then obviously doing what he's doing right now on Sundays as well. I mean, it, he's uh, he's a special player. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to focus on living up to the standard of having those traits and habits on a daily basis, and focus on that process. And then we're going to let those let those results take care of themselves. Um, but ultimately, it's about focusing day to day to day on what, I, what we talk about controlling the controllables on an everyday basis, right? And that's what we're going to focus on. And. We're going to make sure we set a really high standard, uh, an LSU standard for the quarterback position.